scrutinized and the Holy Bible means truth. Jesus preached to the needy, the brokenhearted, the meek, the poor. Thus said the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. The poor is already always screwed over. But God is shutting down pride. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamped round about them that fear him and delivered him. The rich mess over the poor, the poor messes over the poor. But woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. consolation. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. Rob not the poor because he is poor, neither oppress the afflicted in the gate, for the Lord will plead their cause and spoil the soul of those that spoil them. This is poor people's day. And I say that because there are a lot of people who are in poverty, poverty, and there's a lot of people who are low income, and there are some people who are um, middle class, but, you know, they have their struggle. Um, those who worship the entity feels like um, they cannot be beat, and they can send whoever they want to attack whoever. Um, this is through, through witchcraft, but, you know, God is more powerful. God um, created these entities that used to be angels. So if they are so powerful, God is even more powerful. We have not took the time, a lot of us, to find out what God is about. Some think because he's so loving that um, he's weak. But when you take time to find out how militant the, the angels are, and God teaches militant. This is why Satan is militant. But take the time to worship him. Find out who he is. God is a spirit. And a lot of flesh can't deal with the spirit because he's very firm. And we have to follow out his commandments. Reading several uh, scriptures um, concerning the poor. To let you know how much God cares. And, and, and concern and get those people who messes with the poor. This is their day. If thou hast nothing to pay, why should he take away thy bed from under thee? He that oppresseth the poor reproacheth his maker, but he that honoreth him shall uh, have mercy on the poor. He that hath pity upon the poor lendeth unto the Lord, and that which he hath given will he pay again. Whoso marketh the poor reproacheth his maker, and he that is glad at calamities shall not be unpunished. Can't laugh at people when they can't. Uh, you think they're not on your level. God comes after the meek. The people of the land have used oppression and exercised robbery and have vexed the poor and needy. Yea, they have oppressed the stranger wrongfully. Up in the price, knowing that you go to these stores and uh, one part it might be $3 and you go to another store this six dollars. It's just robbing, exercising robbery. Hearken, my beloved brethren, have not God chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom which He had promised to them that love Him? But ye have despised the poor. Do not rich men oppress you and draw you before the judgment seats? Do not they blaspheme that worthy name by the which ye are called? This is why God poor, um, chooses the poor of the people, because he gives them the Holy Spirit, and they have power, and they have power to shut Satan down of, of, or cover people uh, under the protection of the blood. For if there come unto your assembly a man with a gold ring and goodly apparel, and there come in also a poor man in vile raiment, and ye have respect to him that weareth the gay clothing, and say unto him, Sit thou here in a good place, 
and say to the poor, Stand thou there, or sit here under my footstool, are ye not then partial in yourselves and are become judges of evil thoughts? And I'm going to tell you, it's going to be real. There's a lot of, and let me just say the churches that I was raised up in, the Church of God in Christ. There's a church um, that have celebrities. And, and they, a lot of people know. But I've heard of people going there and saying, uh, and I had a relative that went there that said that there's a certain place that you can't sit because there's celebrities sitting there. That's partiality. People are people. And then you can be righteous and they can be a sinner. I don't know if it had anything to do with the money that they, they, they're given and it should not have nothing done with that. Who made anybody better than the other? What do you mean? I had a, a friend also that went there and she said her feelings was her. She said, I came wanting to give my life to the Lord. And then I went and sat in the front because I don't want to send it back. And they still told me I couldn't sit there. They said the celebrities, you know, making them better. There's nobody better. There's no one good but one. They're, if they're coming to seek the Lord, uh, the celebrities, then so is everybody else. That preacher is going to be in trouble because God hates partiality. That's partiality. Making someone, uh, uh, keeping them separate. No. If you're all going to one place and you're going to worship God, you're not God who's separating the wheat from the tares. Uh, uh, you know, um, God is going to separate the goat from and the lamb. Um, and, you know, the sheep and the goat. The goat to the left, which is uh, the children of darkness, and the righteous to the right. I don't know if they, they realize, I think they read this scripture all the time, but they still do that. That's partiality is a great sin. And you're in big trouble with the Lord. He that giveth unto the poor shall not lack, but he that hideth his eyes shall have many a curse. Whoso stoppeth his ears at the cry of the poor, he also shall cry himself, but shall not be heard. Beware that there be not a thought in thy wicked heart, saying, the seventh year the year of released is at hand. Oh, so you're not going to help them until a certain time, seven years. And thine eye be evil against thy poor brother, and thou givest him not, and he cry unto the Lord against thee, and it be sin unto thee. For the poor shall never cease out of the land. Therefore I command thee, saying, Thou shalt open thine hand wide unto thy brother, to thy poor, and to thy needy, in thy land, ye shall do no unrighteous in judgment. Thou shalt not respect the person of the poor, nor honor the person of the mighty, but in righteousness shalt thou judge thy neighbor. But whoso hath this world's good, and seeth his brother have need, and shutteth up his bowels of compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of God in him? My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. When the poor and needy seek water, and there is none, and their tongue fell for thirst, I, the Lord, will hear them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. You can look at some of my videos. Um, I I'm hope I'm helping with the scriptures. I'm just reading the truth. If you like what I do, subscribe to show me that you're satisfied um like and you can even share i need to know if i'm doing um all that i can for you to understand so if you're pleased uh, just show me that you're 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 satisfied and um uh, that would help me a lot that would encourage me to like subscribe and share